welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill, with Lieutenant Rob. For more information, go to www.equippinghispeople.com. Welcome along to today's devotional. Our reading is once again 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 to 31. This morning I'm reading it from the New International Version. Christ crucified is God's power and wisdom. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand signs, and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no one may boast before him. It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God, that is, our righteousness, holiness and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Amen. Verses 22 to 24 of that chapter say, It is foolish to the Jews who ask for signs from heaven, and it is foolish to the Greeks who seek human wisdom. So when we preach that Christ was crucified, the Jews are offended, and the Gentiles say it's all nonsense. But to those called by God to salvation, both Jews and Gentiles, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Can you think of someone famous? Why are they famous? Often it's because they wield power, or because they have influence over people, or in our culture, or because they have great wealth. Whether you're thinking of a politician, a celebrity, a footballer, or someone else, it is likely they're famous because they have something our society worships. Many Jews considered the good news of Jesus Christ as foolish, because Jesus just didn't do what they expected. They thought the Messiah would come as an all-conquering king, as a warrior with signs and miracles in his wake. The Messiah would restore David's throne. The Messiah would definitely not be executed as a criminal on a Roman instrument of execution. How could a common criminal be the world's saviour? Greeks also considered the gospel as foolish. Jesus looked nothing like the mythological gods they worshipped, and they did not believe in bodily resurrection. Death was the end for them. There was no way victory could be found in being killed for your message. No god would come to earth simply to be killed. The gospel message just didn't add up. The good news still seems like foolishness to many today especially those who worship power, influence and wealth. Jesus came as a humble and poor servant. He avoided power. 
He offers entry to his kingdom to those who humbly come to him by faith. He's not bothered whether you have influence or not. You can't earn his salvation through good deeds. But there is tremendous power in this foolishness. Death is not the end of the road. Jesus did not stay dead. Hallelujah. His resurrection demonstrates his power over death and destruction. And he will save us from death and give us everlasting life if we but trust in his foolishness. As you go about your day to day, why not think through this following question? Have you given up trying to prove the existence of God and simply decided to take the leap of faith to believe in the foolish message of the cross? God bless you in your day to day and see you again soon. We hope you've been encouraged and challenged by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook or Instagram by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army and join us again for our next daily devotional. God bless you.